I, I went the other day. They've already got the Halloween stuff out in the aisles, talking about rushing it. But it's not even Halloween, but the ghosts are already out. And really? This is exciting. You already saw Halloween yeah, stuff? Yeah, I out? did. I did already. My goodness. All right. Rushing it. Well, you can check out the ghosts and all that good stuff. Haunted houses on Capitol Hill in the area there. Dan Drew join mm -hmm. us live from the Croke Patterson Mansion in Capitol Hill to explain all this. And uh, hey, you actually got one of those meter things that shows you when there's some weird activity, right? Well, good morning, Mike, and I think you're not half wrong. Good morning, Shal. Uh, this is this device allows Chris Moon, who's a paranormal investigator, uh, Colorado base, allows you, says you, to communicate with people who are no longer with us, i.e., the dead. Now, does that mean they're ghosts? And are all ghosts woo scary? I mean, all ghosts scary? <laughs> no, you know, you are there who you were here. So, you know, grandmothers, grandfathers, everyone who's on the other side is who they were here. Um, not necessarily all, all scary uh, spirits that are out there. Right, the mansion we are in right now is the? Uh, Croke Patterson Campbell. It's been around, this, this home, mansion's been around a very long time, what, over 100 years? Yeah, Some since the late 1800s. 1800s. Okay, I'm not that good in math, but uh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. And uh, it's unoccupied. No one lives in here. And uh, something uh, very notorious happened a long time ago. A child died in the home, and the mother, who was so grief-struck struck, that she took the child from where the child was buried and brought the child back to this house and buried the child downstairs in the basement, purportedly in this, well, not this room. Here's one room. We're in the basement here. It's very dark and it's very damp. And in this tiny little room in the basement, mm -hmm. she, this is an original wall, and she purportedly knocked out the bricks and buried her child in there. Is that correct? Yeah, that's apparently what happened. And the body has since been removed and, and buried properly. Rumor has it. Okay, now come on down here, Chris Moon, paranormal investigator. And this box right here, it allows you to do what? You want to communicate? Yeah, it gives us two-way communication. All right, let's open it up. And uh, don't even worry about how it works. That's too complicated. Mm -hmm. But um, well, not how it works, but how do they communicate with it? Is they pick up their box and call you? or? <laughs> no, I have a, a spirit technician, spirit guide on the other side who actually brings through some of these spirits. Okay, so go ahead and turn it on. We're going to try to communicate with the mother. Yeah, we'll see if we can get the mother or the child possibly. Okay, to come and whatever through. you hear, translate to us because I may not understand. It. Tyler, are you there? Who's Tyler? Tyler's my spirit technician. His name is Tyler Trujillo. Okay. Tyler, are you there? Okay. All right, are we I ready to go? I heard someone say yeah. okay. Okay, Ty, we're going to go ahead and try to get in touch with the mother who actually buried the child here. Is she in this location? Can she come through? Ma'am, are you here? Can you communicate with us? Is the child still here? I can. I heard you come through. Can you come through again, please, ma'am? What's your name? Stay, where Where are you? You're downstairs. Is that good or bad? <laughs> We're about to find out. Tyler, is she still in the house? Is she still in the location? Is her child still here? Downstairs. Ty, is she down here? Is she downstairs? Someone is. <laughs> well, okay. We're down here. <laughs> Are there any spirits down here? Thanks. Right here. Hi. Did you bury your child here, ma'am? Yes. She, you buried your child down here in this basement? Why did you bury your child here? Frustration? Did you say frustration? It just broke up. Ma'am, is there anything you want to say? You can communicate through this device. Is there anything that you want to say while you're here? Standing here now. Well, this is kind of creepy to me. All right, the tour is going on now? Yeah, the tour is going on now six days a week. Actually, the tour is going on right now because <laughs> I feel like I'm on it. Uh, for information, where do people need to go? Uh, they can go to hauntedtimes.com, or you can give us a call at 877-880-6232. We link the website. Now, Shawley and Mike, as Chris Moon continues to communicate, I'm creeped out for what it's worth. Cody, are you creeped out? Yes. Cody's creeped out as well. So we're going to toss it back to you. If we, if we wow. dig something up, we'll, we'll, we're going to record after this, we're gonna, and we'll link it to kdvr.com. Still down. Hey, Dan. So we're going to toss it back to you. Dan, and did I, I hear something? If anybody talks to us? I'm doing a rabbit out of this house. I'm going to be a ghost.
Dan, while well, he was, uh, you know, using that little knob there going through, it sounded like a radio station. Well, it sounded like Kubo, but it, will you pick up any uh, radio stations with that? It will, it'll pick up different signals that are out in the atmosphere, absolutely. That's what they use their voice. They can actually manipulate it to create their voice through that. Wow. What did yeah. they say? I just told you. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just said, yeah, on this. Oh, okay. That was, I thought I heard Creedence Clearwater Revival, so <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> Well, you never know. Right. It makes you not want to leave your radio on and just let it sit in static. You know how yeah. the alarm can go off and the station's off that was on when you went to bed, and then it's all staticky. All staticky. I don't want to do that. Not anymore. No, no. I don't know. You can pick up some good stuff. Creepy. Apparently. All right, coming up in.